All right, all right, all right, Cancer. I am back at it again as promised. What is popping? What is popping, my puddings? It is Mira. It is Shiva. It is Vera. I am here to let you guys know what the current situation and love is surrounding my lovely, lovely Cancers. Cancer, tell me the answer. What's going on with you, baby? If you guys have not seen um, the inner guidance message recording that I just did, y'all go and check that out. Y'all go and check that out because Cancer's not playing, baby. It was a very, very powerful message in that video. I don't know if uh, part of that message is going to carry over here in the love portion. But, honey, if it do, just know, Cancer, it's all about you, boo. It's all about you. So, let's get into today's energy. You know, as always, I want to give a shout-out to my OGs. A shout-out to my newbies. Shout-out to every last one of my babies for coming through, like, sharing, subscribing, and clicking this video and showing support. The best way to show support and love is by hitting that like button. Um, I am open for booking, so if you guys would like to book a, a reading with me, um, just send me a message in my inbox on Instagram. Or you can email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com. Calm, okay. Um, so before we get into this energy, let's just give a quick prayer. Say, you know, thanks to God. So, Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of cancer. Thank you for making us determined and strong to move forward towards our happiness and our blessings. We want our cups to be over filled with the right type of intentions, Father God, because we want to uh, achieve all of our goals and we just want to live happy and pure. In Jesus' name, please give us the guidance that we need to receive collectively for the sign of cancer. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. All right. Let's get into this. All right, Cancer. I was just told to start from the back again. So we're going to start from the back and we're going to move forward. All right. So let's see what messages we got right now from the uh, Rebel deck. And this is a mixture of the singles and the relationship Rebel decks. So let's see what we got here. I forgot which reading that was where like all of the other readings that I did I, for the love portion I start from here and work my way down but it was one reading in particular that they wanted me to start from the bottom and work my way up and spirit is telling me to do that for you so let's figure out why oh I just heard y'all gotta start back from the basics y'all gotta start back from the basics so you know you gotta start from the bottom and work your way to the top you got to ground yourself and work your way up. Yeah. All right, let's get two more cards here. Okay, you got a lot of orange. Okay. So let's see. Oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Number one at the top of the deck, it says interruption is for assholes. Okay. Let them fucking finish. So it may be something right now, Cancer, that you may be interrupting something. I just heard don't step in the middle of nobody's drama. If you know that you are trying to infringe on somebody during a breakup or infringe on somebody's territory, like, don't do that. Like, what is this? Interruption is for assholes. Let them fucking finish. So, I'm clearly getting a message. If you know that there's someone that just experienced a breakup, or if you just experienced a breakup, don't allow anybody to come through and interrupt your healing process. Heal and deal with that shit first. Make sure that either you or that person is completely got that shit calm all, all the way totally out of the way before you even fix fixate yourself with this. Because like interrupting somebody in the middle of a healing process or trying to infringe on a relationship when you know that they're at the end game. You know what I'm saying? Like it's almost the ending and like you trying to help push that person out of the door like that shit ain't cool. I don't know because normally I don't go to the top but it's like it told me to grab that car so interruptions is for assholes just don't do it like don't do it give somebody time to deal with their their own energy first before you go 
trying to insert yourself in other people's shit. I don't know. Somebody needed to get that message. So it says detox. I'm so serious. It says detox. Believe what you see. Your boundaries are trash. Are y'all listening to me? I'm trying to tell y'all that is why God told me to start from this. Listen. Believe what you see. Detox. Your boundaries is trash. Interruption is for assholes. There is somebody cancer either you or somebody else is trying to get in the middle of someone that is going through a breakup that's trying to detox and trying to get something out of their system and it's like you're interrupting this person they haven't got it all out yet and at the end of the day it's I, i'm sorry i'm feeling like your own selfishness and not allowing Someone to process their feelings so that they don't ultimately hurt you. You're going to end up hurting yourself. Like You can't be that impatient that you're not taking in accountability or how you could possibly be hurting or confusing or putting somebody else in an uncomfortable bond or situation. Allow them to detox, get all of that shit out and deal with their self first and or you need to deal with your shit first. Somebody's boundaries is trash and... I don't know if it's like God. Why well, I don't, I don't want to say that, but no, I, I gotta say it. It's like I don't know if if it's someone trying to jump in on somebody while they see that they're down. You know, like how bitch ass motherfuckers like they'll see someone like someone could be posting some shit online, and you could clearly see based on someone's status that they may be going through like a breakup or something like that. And any type of vulturistic. Pussy ass, bitch ass motherfucker be like, oh, she look like she or he look like they going through a, a breakup. Let me jump in. But clearly, if they're posting this type of stuff, the way that they are, they're not over it. Wait until they got all of that shit out of their system. Then you're going for a kill. It's more safe for you. Like, why in the hell would you go and... Why I keep saying trying to infiltrate the system? Like, you, you, you trying to infiltrate the system. It ain't your time yet. And like, I honestly feel it's not your time. It's not your time. And, again, this is very sacral chakra. All right? This has to do with your feelings, your emotional needs, boundaries. And what does it say? Your boundaries fucking suck. So, it's like... You got to pace yourself even though you want to do it. Like if you see someone going through a breakup and you want to jump in for the kill and stuff like that. Like please hold boundaries. Let's see what it say on the back. Oh shit. It says block those bad vibes. Drink a smoothie, unfriend that asshole and throw some shit out. The message in y'all other video has something to do with y'all detoxing too. And throwing shit out. It says, face reality or live in fucking la la land. Choose bravely. Let them fucking finish. Block those bad those bad vibes drink a smoothie unfriend that asshole throw some shit out face reality or live in fucking la la land choose bravely so somebody is showing you who they are cancer it's like they trying to hone in on you when you're weak or it's, yeah, it's like other stuff. I don't know. I'm just reading the cards. So I don't know. Y'all have to tell me down in the, in the comments, in the chat, right now in the chat. Is this cancer doing this to you? Because initially when I started reading this, it was like spirit is telling cancer to allow someone to get something out of their system before you end up hurting yourself.
I really do feel like it's, it's like someone is on the receiving end of this energy. And whoever this is, I only thing I know is whoever this is, is that that is on the receiving end of this energy. God is telling you to block those bad vibes because they're not giving, they are not giving you space to detox and cleanse yourself before you can give yourself to them. And if they, they don't, you don't want to attract or you don't want to have people around you. That they want to jump in on you when they see that you down and you weak. You know what I'm saying? Like that's not a that's not a okay individual. And their boundaries suck. It's like they, they want to jump in on you when you weak, not when you strong and they feel like you are making emotional, emotionally rational decisions. Like they wanna. I don't like that. Like I really don't like that. Whoever this is, cancer. If someone is interrupting your process, interruption is for assholes. They need to let you fucking finish. Someone needs to let the other person finish. Block those bad vibes. Drink a smoothie, unfriend that asshole, and throw some shit out. If you have anything in your house that may be bringing you bad memories, like a, a, a bracelet, a chain, something that that person gave to you or something, throw that shit out. Because you don't need no keepsakes for fuck nigga shit. Like, I, I'm so serious. Like, someone needs to step up their game with their boundaries. And you know that this person, someone deep inside, they know that this person has ill intent for you. Because if they didn't, why why are you not letting me process? Why are you not coming to me when I'm healed and when I'm strong and I can make conscious decisions? And you know what I'm saying? They're betting on you. They're betting on you making a decision to aid your hurting heart right now. Because if you were not hurting, if you were not needing to release certain energies and de detox and get certain shit out of you, you would have a perfectly sane mind. Your boundaries would be on point. People... With low vibrational energy, know that they can't step to you because they would get stepped on. They know if you was not in this situation, they would never be able to fucking, never. You wouldn't even look at them. Face reality or live in la la land. Choose fucking wisely. Whoever this is really needs to look at this situation at face value. This person don't mean anything well. This person doesn't mean anything good. If they did, they wouldn't come to you in a moment when you're weak. Remember that. When you were strong and everything was good, was this person on your back? Was this person still like relentlessly trying to come after you? Were they trying to approach you? Were they trying to... No? No? When you were single, free, and clear, and this person had all of the space and opportunity, were they down your back? No? They won't come to you when you hurt. When they see you having a hard time letting something go, they'll be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna help this motherfucker let this shit go. Why? So they 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 want you to create a level of codependency on them because they want you to feel like you need them in order for your heart to feel whole because they came around you when you were in need. Now you need them. Do you understand? Are y'all getting me? Watch these motherfuckers. Watch these snakes and fakes, y'all. Watch out for these snakes and motherfucking fakes. Look, and then you got the wheel of fortune in the reverse. Whoever this is that's coming through with this type of shit right here, oh, baby, ain't nothing good gonna come to you. Ain't nothing good gonna come to you, baby. Nothing. Because God don't bless no energy like this. And I'm telling you, Whoever the fuck this is, it, you know that you are trying to clean certain shit up. You're trying to heal. You're trying to process. You're trying to think better for yourself so that you can kind of get yourself out of a situation. This person does not mean any, anything well coming to you. This person does not mean anything good. This person is going to bring you a whole bunch of disaster and misfortune. Pay attention. 
Pay attention to how people and when people come to you. Pay attention. Let them fucking finish. I, look, y'all just pissed me off. You, you got the tennis swords in the reverse. I just heard somebody ain't thinking about you. It's like something. I just heard there ain't no past time left. It's like there's no past time left. So I feel like someone does not have time, energy, or resources to keep looking back. I just heard someone just say you hurt me enough. Something was overkill. And I just heard someone's account was overdrafted a lot. I don't know what the fuck that has anything to do with anything. I heard that someone is like going through some low level pain and suffering and heartache. I heard someone's not getting over some, some pastime. I just heard it like someone's having to face the hurt, abuse, and the turmoil that they did to someone else when they were down. I heard internally somebody is suffering from their from the own chaos that they created. It's like they can go back and look at it now. But for some reason, it's they, they're not able to release it. They're not able to let it go. It's like, you did this to yourself. And typically, what is this? The Ten of Swords in the reverse is when like some type of pain and suffering is over. But with the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, oh no, it ain't over. It's just begun. Like, you or someone is going to pay. Someone is going to pay. Day in and day out. It's like every time, like during the daytime, they may be cool, but it's it's nighttime what fucks this motherfucker up. It is nighttime. Because it's like they sit back and think about all of the suffering and abuse and the fucked up shit that they did to this person. It was like, damn. Am I really the enemy? Yeah, you are. Like when you sit back and you think about all. I think that this person is really sitting back and listening to what this person has to say to them now. They didn't think about it at the time that they were inflicting this much pain and abuse and hurt on somebody. I feel like someone is not forgiving them. It's like because you did too much. You did absolutely you did too much and you thought I was going to forget you thought I was just going to let that go no I'm going to make you remember this shit for the rest of your life I don't forgive you I don't trust you and I'm not letting this go I'm not going to be a victim of your energy anymore but yeah you are an enemy to me so there, there is some level of refusal someone is non-forgiving and someone is not letting this shit go it's like Someone is looking at all those puncture wounds, all of those scars. It's like, how in the fuck could I forget about it? And I got all this scar tissue on my back. So this is like someone that has like PTSD from old. I don't know if they've been shot before, but it was like every time the seasons change, it gets cold. It's like you can feel it in your bones. You, Because you know, like once you've been stabbed or shot or something like that, it's like your body never recovers. It, it fully recovers. It's never the same. So it's like constant reminder of overkill. Because it was like you didn't have to do that. Like you did not have to do that. Like would, would you thought it was funny? No, I don't forgive you. It's like I don't forgive you. Block those bad vibes. Exactly. Like, I'm not going to let you hurt me anymore. You thought this shit was over. No, this shit is not over, bitch. I'm going to let you. I'm going to remind you of this shit for the rest of for the rest of your fucking life. So this person may be going around telling all these other people what you did to them. And why they blocked you. And why they don't want nothing to do with you. And that you need to stay away from these people. And this is a bad person. And it's because remember I was saying something, and it, it's like the person is thinking now. It's like, damn, am I really an enemy? Was I that bad? Yes, you fucking were. 
And the fact that whoever this is, is is trying to come back to this person. While they're trying to heal. And to create a new puncture wound. Well, I, I don't get that this person means any well for this person at all. It's like you're doing nothing. It's like someone doesn't even see by them doing what they're doing right now. It's even more reason why this person feels like, like you're not shit. You're not shit. Like this time you didn't hurt me this time. But all of them other wounds, nigga, yeah, nigga, you did that. You did that. You see, I'm trying to like, I'm over allowing people to hurt me. Whoever this is, like they're over it. I, I'm not forgiving. I'm not forgetting. I got to wake up to these war rooms every day. Nigga, fuck you. Now, I'm saying it with my heart, my chest, my spirit, my soul. Bitch, the, the marrow in my backbone. Bitch, fuck you. Can y'all say it with me? Bitch, fuck you. What? What? <laughs> and you see how these cards kind of, it fell in my lap like this. So you got the two of cups and then you got the king of cups. So I want to say whoever this was like, and you see this is the king of cups in the reverse. Like whoever the fuck this is, like you got, I, I, this person looks at the king of cups now. Like this person has emotional issues. Like emotionally fucked up. And whoever this person could have came to you honestly because they maybe really did feel a connection. They really did feel a bond with you. They really did like your energy. They wanted to see what shit was going. But you weren't giving to them. It, it's giving throw the rock and hide the hand behind your back. Like you did some shit that intentionally to hurt me and you knew that this shit was going to hurt me and you knew that I loved you and you knew how I felt about you and if you didn't fuck with me like that if you had fleeting emotions because you had other shit that you could have just told me. It's like don't sell me no dreams. The Ten of Cups in the Reverse. And, and, and the Ten of Cups in the Reverse is, is showing me it's like not a loving home. I want to say like this person may have family issues. That's why this person don't know how to love appropriately. This motherfucker might not know how to love appropriately because they may have very toxic family values. There wasn't any love in the home. Or motherfucker was raised by a single mother and never saw a positive aspect of a Oh, nigga, you don't fuck it. And then he go another crazy cancer calling me. No, nigga, bye. Mm-mm. No, no, no. No, no. No, 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 no. And let me just tell you about that one. Like, good person and everything, but just extremely toxic lifestyle. And I can't deal with that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, we could never be anything more than just friends. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I don't know. It's like this person's upbringing has really faltered this person's concept of reality. Like that's not love. That's not the way a relationship goes. If you really uh, care about someone, you don't treat them that way. You don't disrespect the woman in your home. Like if you want people to understand you, you got to tell people how they feel, how you feel. It's just like whoever this is got shit all fucking wrong. <laughs> like all fucking wrong. And I don't know. It's like, um, I'm looking at this two of cups here. I'm like, initially, I want to say. I want to say within two months time, you're going to understand what I'm saying. Two months time, like whoever this is, you might not face reality now about all the shit that I'm saying to you. And two months time, you're going to see, you're going to see clearly once you take them rose colored glasses off. Like this isn't love. I don't even think that this person lives a healthy lifestyle. I don't think that this person has a healthy grasp on their own emotions. 
I don't think that this person knows what they want. There was no positive representation of what a, a, a healthy man, a true leader is. Like in this relationship with this individual man, you might see the man cussing and arguing and starting fights and you will see the man doing it more than the female in this relationship. This person is unbalanced emotionally. And whoever this is, this is not love. This is not a healthy relationship. And in too much time, you will quickly see that. This person is not emotionally available to you. And they know nothing but extremely toxic households and family ships. If you look into their family, are there any healthy, happy, long-term committed relationships in their family? Is their mother married? No. Is their siblings married and in healthy, happy relationships? Really think about it and answer that question. Their friends around them, are they married or in healthy, happy, committed, stable relationships? Even friendships of their own with their buddies and stuff like that. Are those happy, healthy, stable friendships around like-minded individuals that are doing positive shit for themselves? Or are they hanging around a whole bunch of nothings and nobodies? Like really sit back and answer that question and you tell me do you think that this is a healthy individual that you should be surrounding yourself around? Like re really. You are what you eat. If you continue to entertain people like that, you can't, you can't, you can't say anything about the determination of the outcome not being what you want it to be. Like this person, I'm telling you, either face reality or live in fucking la la land. You could believe what you want. You could believe what you want. I'm telling you. Whoever this cancer, I don't know if cancer, if this is about you or if this is warning you about somebody else. This person don't mean nothing good for you, bruh. Really don't. No one that really care about you will come to you while you broken, bruh. They give you space to heal, man. What is this? You got the fox. This person thinks that they're skilled they're clever they know how to manipulate they know how to move around you and they think that they know you so they know how to read you the fox is a con man it's a trickster right next to the snake this ain't no work reading if this was a work reading i'd be like okay yeah this motherfucker know what they doing like it might be a little uh shysty at times but Motherfucker gonna get the job done and, 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 and don't care who they harm and hurt to get the job done. Just know the job gonna get done. You know? I just don't trust this individual. And then you got the bear and then you got the child. So I just off bucks, off bucks, like the bear is someone that thinks that they're the boss, they're the leader, they're the manager, they're in control. Um, like they're never inconsistent. It's like they know what they're doing. So, and look at the fox, look at the bear, and look at the child. This person thinks that they can control you. It's like they got some type of mastermind sneaky underhanded um it's something that they i don't know what what the fuck is this person getting out of this shit they feel like you're not that you're in in not that you're immature but you wouldn't be able to have any type of inclination about what's coming up the pike 
because they think that they're so much smarter than you. They think that you're naive. You believe anything that people tell you. That you're looking for someone to mold you and protect you. And it's like you believe whatever the boss, the manager, the the guru says. Because you're a child and you're very impressionable or something. You see how the bear has a mask on? Not only that, do you see the clothes that this motherfucker got on? A wolf in sheep's clothing. So it's like this person may be abandoned or planning on taking something from you. Because I'm sorry, the bear is giving the thief. It's like they're, 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 they're coming off like they're a leader. Like... They're going to guide you like they're going to protect you. But all the while they're planning on taking something from you. A fox is a thief. A fox is a trickster. A fox is a calm man. They're putting a mask on so you can't see what they really want to do. They think you're naive and you're impressionable. And they can hide their true intentions with this mask on that they're here to protect, lead, and guide you. And they think that they, they're skilled at doing this. They think that you're going to fall for it. Their true intentions are being mass. I don't like this motherfucker. I swear to God, I don't like this shit. I don't like this shit at fucking all. And then at the bottom of the deck, you have choices. You got the crossroads. Cancer or whoever is being drawn to watch this video... God is screaming to you. Do not trust this energy. I don't give a fuck what this person says. I don't care how they position themselves in front of you. Because they're going to position themselves in front of you. Like they're going to protect you. They're going to lead you. They're going to guide you. They're going to provide for you. Like I said, they're going to come off like they all in love. And this is a mutual connection. Baby, this motherfucker is a liar. This person will tell you whatever the fuck they think that you want to hear. They have no intentions of love. They have no intentions of trying to create a family. And even if it is a family that they have intentions of bringing you into, it's a fucked up one. Have y'all ever seen grown individuals scarred from family abuse? And how fucked up their life is because they got past time child trauma? Have y'all ever seen an adult man or adult woman with mommy or daddy issues or just grew up in a foster system or just with a fucked up family? Do y'all seen how their life has turned out? Do you want this for yourself? At least these were kids and they didn't have any choice. They didn't have any say so about their family and how they were brought up. You don't come from this. You do not come from this. Don't let nobody pull you into this shit. This person is coming to you because they think that you're down and they can manipulate you. And again, it's about power. With the, with the bear, this person seeks power and control. And they only go after weak individuals that they think that they can control. This ain't no true leader. This ain't no real boss. Okay? A real boss hangs in a winner's circle with other bosses. A real fucking boss ain't gonna go look for an injured person. <laughs> I, I, oh Lord, let me hurry up and get the fuck up out of this because this shit is pissing me the fuck off. I'm trying to tell you. Let them finish showing their ass. You gonna see. Just let them finish talking. Let them finish doing. Watch watch these motherfuckers. I promise you. You're going to see this person is spinning up a whole bunch of fuckery for you. And, and it's like. Mm, I'm not entertained by this. This shit is not cool. The only thing I'm. Look. My eyes just went to block those bad vibes. Block. Let's, look at this. Block these bad vibes. Like. This person think that they about to sneak back around and do this shit to you again. They're going to do it again. Again. 
They're not trying to let these wounds heal up. They're not. They're going to do it again. Again. I just heard for the third time. They're going to do this shit again. God. Oh my God. I'm sorry, y'all. Like This just irritated me. This irritated me, bruh. God, no, and God just said, no, this is, this is why God is having me do things like that is because y'all need a second message. Y'all need a second message because someone was about to make a bad decision. Face reality or live a fuck a la la la. Don't believe what this person is trying to, listen. Believe what you see. What you see. What you see. And this person think you what? What you see. It's good. Is this good? Is this good? Is this good? Or is, or is this good? Only thing that's good is the facade. The make-believe shit. This shit not real, bruh. Believe what you see. Face reality or live in fucking la-la land. Choose wisely. Once you get mixed up in this, it's easy to get in. But it's going to be hella hot water to get you up out of this shit. You know, when you be mixed up with people like this. The fact that this person think that they so quick and so fly. And they think that you stupid. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, you got the two of swords. Oh, yeah, this won't be. Oh. I just heard on guard. Okay, bitch. Yes. You want to fight, bitch? You want to fight her? Now, I'm about to tell you how the fuck I really feel about this shit. You want to know how the fuck I really feel about this shit? I just, I'm like, don't, something about, these are fighting words. And I just heard what you want to do. I just heard these are fighting, those are fighting words. And what you want to do. I just heard that this motherfucker going, going, uh, receive a big nut after this it's something like whoever this person is is toxic like shit i feel like this person um gets aroused by arguments by battles by defeating somebody by making someone else feel beneath them or yeah like like they tower over like they're towering over you or something this person you see this one right here? This one. He gets his nut off by like victimizing other people. That's what makes this person feel successful. That's what makes this person feel useful. That's what's this. It's like tearing other people down. You know, two of swords can be like a disagreement, an argument, someone going back and forth. You try and it's in its stagnation because nobody's moving until this shit gets addressed i'm not saying shit about what i'm gonna do and to you i just heard it to you approach me right and we talk about this energy i just heard because we gotta talk about this and i just heard i'm coming at you nice Cause you see his, his, his energy, he looks, he looks like, he looks non-threatening. He said, I'm coming at you nice, but bitch, I'm going low and I'm going to cut deep. Cause I'm not playing, like whoever this is knows very much so who this person thinks that they are. I'm coming off night, but I'm going to cut you deep, bitch. Cause I'm not playing with you no more. I'm not playing with you no more. You got the three wands. The grass is greener on the other side. You're just waiting for something. You're waiting for... Oh. I just heard... Directions to a new avenue. 
Are you guys moving? I just heard I represent a different street. I represent a different block now. Oh, I just heard you can't visit. You can't come visit me at that old address anymore. I'm gone. And you got the three plus two. So you know that represents five. That represents change. And five does represent change. Um, challenges, freedom, travel, being quick-witted, adaptable. So there, there was some petty argument that gave you the final okay. That it's okay to leave everything behind and pick up a move. It's like I'm on a new venture now. I'm on new timing. Oh, I, they just said I'm walking in center stage. So it's like, I just heard you feel more valued now. You feel more valued. And as you can see, you see how she got her little companion, her little friend. I feel like you got everything that you need. It's like you starting over. You might not got much, but it's like you free and clear of this shit. And as you see, what's the seasons in the back? It's autumn. So yeah, fall time, you definitely going to have a disagreement with somebody where I, the, honestly, you about to just save face and just tell them what it is that you going to do and where the fuck they can go. What you doing and where the fuck you can go. Because bitch, I'm coming humble, but I'm going to cut you deep, bitch. I'm not playing with you. Like, I just heard this person say, did you think I would come to this fight unprepared? I already know I was going to have to fight you. I already know how you get down. Look, I already know how you get down. And you think you 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 think I'm still in this innocent child energy like I just like I don't know no better now, nah, bitch. Oh, no, 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 bitch. No, because you was faking like you love me. I was faking like I love you, too. Come on, bitch. Meet up. Let's link up, bitch. Let's see what the fuck it is. Let's see. Let's see what it is for real. Because you think I'm going to play nice. I'm going to play nice, bitch. You think you all intimidating and shit. I'm going to cut you deep. I'm going to cut you deep. You might not get up this time, motherfucker. Yeah, you see me laying there. You might not get up this time, motherfucker. So keep playing around. I'm so sorry that I just... I, I, and again, I'm going to say it two ways. I feel like this person was playing like they loved you. Or that they want to fuck with you for real, for real. Just to hurt you again. To feed their ego. It's something about this person kicking someone down or dangling bait in front of someone's face. Like, yeah, you thought I was feeling you? You thought I was feeling you? Ah, psych your mind. Huh, don't you want this dick? Don't you want this pussy? Don't you want to be in a relationship with me? Don't you look? Don't you? You thought I was feeling you? Psych. You know what I'm saying? It's like something about that. That boosts this person's ego. And it's like. they I really don't think that they know. Who the fuck they playing with. You got the king of wands in the reverse. I just heard substitute teacher. Oh shit. <laughs> what the fuck they got. I got the chalices in the reverse. The nine of chalices in reverse. And you got the hierophant. So. I just heard a dedicated teacher. I just heard it's, it's not that God is trying to hurt you. But you had to go through these bumps and bruises to, to for you to learn, number one, whoever this is that's dealing with this energy, how to stand up for yourself. How to block bad vibes. How to let go of shit that don't deserve you. So like this was class. This was a lesson. I feel like God brought this motherfucker around a final time. So that you can address it and get it out the way. So that you could get on your way. This is not what God was teaching you in this situation. Again, face your reality or live in fucking la la land. Choose wisely because if this is what you want to choose, if you want to let this person suck you in and do the same bullshit to you that they did to you the last time, God going to let you do it. 
if you want to stand up for yourself. I just heard that you defeated the army alone. If you're going to stand up for yourself, defeat the army alone, and walk into your new reality, God going to give you that too. You look so much better over here. You look so much better over here. With this King of Wands in the reverse and this Nine of Cups in the reverse. I just heard like an emotional outpour. I just heard an outpour of emotions. Number one, this King of Wands does not want anything permanent. This person is older than you. This person has had many, many years of successful fuck shit. They haven't learned anything else. They're not trying to learn anything else. They feel like they thrive in this position. And there's a very big reluctancy to find a permanent home or to sit at a table permanently. I don't even feel like this person even wants the responsibility of a leader. They just want the glitz and glamour, the jewelry, the fame, the clothes, the notoriety. But they don't want the responsibility of being a king of wands. They just want the title and they want to act out a little bit. But they don't want that title. I see like a high level of unfulfillment. I feel like um, the cup is over poured with some shit that you don't want. It's like, why are you constantly giving me some shit that I didn't ask you for? I asked you for apple juice. I asked you for apple juice and some mama cooking breakfast with no hog. Listen, mama was cooking breakfast with no hog. I said I wanted apple juice and some grits and cheese eggs, okay? Why in the fuck are you giving me dark roasted coffee, bitch? I don't even drink coffee. Then you had the nerve to make it dark roasted. Sausage and bacon and pancakes. Number one, if I wanted to eat some pancakes, bitch, I, if I wanted some unhealthy shit, I could have just went to Dunkin' Donuts eating a, eating a donut in the morning versus a thing of pancakes. What the fuck is the difference? It is sweet and breaded and unhealthy. I do not want to be jumping around like a jitterbug. I ask for apple juice. It's something about the unwanted. It's like someone keeps coming back with the unwanted energy that you did not fucking ask for. So why the fuck you keep coming back here? It's like if you're not even going to give me what I want, what the fuck use do I have for you? I don't even want to invite you to my home anymore. Like this is it's like someone is not and is disinvited. You're not invited. You cannot sit at my table. Even when I invite you over and I give you a specific list of things that I need for you to contribute. You don't. You bring everything but that. It's like someone is just selfish. They only bring what they want. Not what the rest of the party needs. It's a very strange energy here. And like, I really need this person to be blocked and disinvited from your life. You would be so much more happy than You would be so much more happier with someone that is committed to your overall happiness and well-being. It's bringing something to the table. Not someone, you, you, you bringing shit to the table that don't nobody want. Then you had the audacity to sit at the head of the table like motherfuckers should respect you. Everybody else Bought party favors and things to the party that is being utilized. And ain't nobody walking around with this big cock diesel, um, <coughs> fucking unrealistic mindset of who they are and their importance in this whole. <laughs> like, are you fucking kidding me? You bring nothing. You deserve nothing. Like, everybody else played their part. You didn't play shit, but you think that you 
could come here and try to flex on me try to like no i don't i don't like that i don't like that it's like god is teaching you the rules is teaching you a standard because remember like we said you need a detox because why your boundaries fucking suck your boundaries is trash so it's like god is teaching you what you should do with these people because we ain't about to live in la la land we're not doing that It's like God is reiterating the rules and certain characteristics of people that are allowed into this group. These people, these type of people, you don't see them at church. You don't see them around very high vibrational, well-established, organized businesses or individuals. Why would a place that is well-established, thriving, and got shit going for itself. Allow people in this energy around something successful. Remember when I was saying earlier, think about it. Think about this person and everybody that you know around this person. Are they thriving? Are they happy? Do they live in toxic situations or toxic environments or not? And you just innocent. You just innocent. It's, it's no reason for you to be around these people. And that's what God is showing you. Like listen to his teachings. This is the last little group right here. And then we up out of here. Because like this. This ooh, this took me there cancer. This took me there. And like I think that this is the longest reading I've done for anybody. Gracious me. Last. Okay. Child. Not not y'all dropping a whole fucking book starting out with separation. So number one, there's going to be a separation. And I'm going to read it to y'all just as it came out. Whoever this girl is, she don't want to talk to you no more. She is not about to be one of them kings. The keys on the ring. All right, clock. She ain't got no time to deal with it. And the axe. If you got cut out before... There's no, there's not going to be a repeated cycle. She don't even have to pick up the axe because she's not going to begin with you again. You understand what I'm saying? You got cut out permanently. There's nothing to put an axe to. Okay? It is soot beneath soil. Okay? It is soot beneath soil. There's nothing to cut out. So, again, there's separation. Because at first I was like, God, why you drop this book out? This why. Because all of this makes sense, don't it? Don't it make sense? Separation. No more conversation. No more consideration. No more time. Bitch, you is swine. We do not feed pearls to swine. And what did I say in the video? Mama cooking breakfast with no hog. We don't even consume fuck niggas like y'all. We don't even walk in that fucking aisle. We don't even walk in aisles where they sell pork and beef products. We vegan. Can't even fucking tell you the last time that we put some impure, improper shit in our fucking body or vicinity, bitch. So whoever the fuck you was trying to play, whatever you, it was that you was trying to say, but eat, but eat. That's all, folks. Try again with another victim next time. Because you ain't getting none of that shit off over here. All right, Cancer, this has been your reading. I hope this resonates. If this resonated, y'all, please put it down in the chat. And please let me know, are you the Cancer that was doing this to somebody and somebody is feeling this way about you? Or is this the Cancer that is protecting their self because somebody hurt them? before 10 times over and God is teaching you that your boundaries is trash detox and believe what you see believe what you see I'm gonna hold this here for a good little second believe what God is trying to tell you baby
This person means you no fucking good. None. 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 Alright, y'all. I got the go. Y'all hit the like button. Peace.